Hello everyone, welcome to the Ministry of Crochet. Today I'll show you how to make this lovely and simple crochet photo frame. To make this project we need less than 50 grams of yarn. Any yarn is good. In this case I'll be using double knitting cotton. You also need a hook. I'll be using a 4mm hook. You should adapt the size of your hook to the yarn you'll be using. And you also need a plastic glass and a pair of scissors. Any size is fine. I'll be using this one. First, you need to cut apart the rim of the glass to form a ring. There is your ring. Now you need to attach your yarn to the ring. We'll do it this way. Make a slip knot. Remove your hook. Pass your hook through the ring. And Bring your yarn into the ring. Now yarn over the hook and pull through the loop. That's it, the yarn is now attached. Right, I've changed to a metal hook but it's still a 4mm hook. What we need to do now is to cover the ring with single crochets. You will need a varying amount of stitches depending on the size of your hook. Um, it doesn't matter how many you use, as long as the number is a multiple of six. So I'm going to start. Chain one and make my first single crochet like this. Just pass the hook towards the outside of the ring, below and outwards and pull the yarn back up. Yarn over the hook and pull through both loops. Just like any single crochet, the only thing is that you're doing it um, around your ring. Okay, I've done three, four, five, six. So that's the way to go. The first row is a bit awkward to handle, but then it uh, gets all right. So go on, cover your ring, make sure you use a multiple of six, and um, see you when you reach the end. Right, I've reached the end of the row. I've used 66 stitches, but you may use a different amount depending on the size of your ring. Now you're going to close this row by joining to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. Like that. On the second row you have to make one single crochet in each stitch around. At the same time you can go on and hide this loose end as you go along. So we chain one and make a, the first single crochet in the same stitch. Right, and then, then go on to the next stitch and make sure you crochet over this loose end so you get rid of it. You don't need to sew it in later. So 
right? So continue like that, one single crochet on each stitch all the way around until you reach the end. Right, I've reached the end of the row. I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. For the third row, we'll start by chaining one and we'll make two single crochets in the same place where we are now. Two. So now we'll skip two and we'll make a half double crochet in the next stitch. So skip two, two. This is your half double crochet. Yarn over the hook you have three loops on your hook, yarn over your hook and pull through all three loops at the same time. Now still in the same stitch we'll make a double crochet and a long double crochet in the same stitch. This is how you make your long double crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull, you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first loop only. You still have three loops on your hook, now yarn over the hook, pull through the first two loops, yarn over the hook, pull through the last two loops. It's a little bit taller than your normal double crochet. Now, still in the same stitch, another double crochet, a normal double crochet, and finally a half double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, now skip two, and in the next stitch, two single crochets. Skip two and we'll do this again. So skip two, one half double crochet, one double crochet, one long double crochet, one double crochet. and one half double. Skip two and two single crochets in the same stitch. All right, so you'll be repeating that until the end of the row. Well, I've just made my last motif and I will join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the row. Like that. Okay, now we'll chain one and we'll turn our work because now we are going to make the back. That's the what's going to hold our picture in place. Right, what you're going to do now is Choose a loop to make a slip stitch to attach your yarn now to the back of your frame. I'm going to lift this loop just like that and slip stitch there. And there I've slip stitched to the back of the frame. Turn around, make sure it still looks good at the front, and it does, you can't tell. Alright, so now we need to make a chain to reach the other side of our frame. 
I'll be using 16 stitches. You may need more or fewer. 16. Um, your chain mustn't be too tight nor too loose. So if you need, just calculate the amount of stitches. Um, I'll be slip stitching somewhere there. Double check the front. Still looking good. Now we're going to make a few chains that are going to be um, used for hanging your uh, frame from the wall. I'm going to be making 10. and slip stitch let's see we have enough yeah and slip stitch somewhere on the other side because we're going to repeat this chain here so let's slip stitch Lift a loop, it's not easy, and join with a slip stitch like that. Return this is what it looks like so far. Okay, now. I'm going to make uh, the same as here again, 16 chains and I'm going to slip stitch it at the base. Okay, I've got my 16 chains and I'll be slip stitching We just finished our frame, so now you have to make a knot and cut your yarn. You'll be sewing this end to make it disappear. Right, so now you choose the picture that you're going to use and you need to cut it so that it fits your frame. I've cut this one already. Um, this is how you insert it in your frame. And you may also want to cut the uh, edges like this so that they don't stick out. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. Hope you like this project. Don't forget to comment and like the video and of course subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!